Hi, one forum is brings to the best. Please kindly subscribe to this channel. Your comment and all eyes will be highly appreciated. On a very sad note, we are going to Nigeria to take a look at how a military officer killed his own colleague. Yes, whether accident or knowingly, the investigations are still underway. But let's take a critical look at what exactly happened. Here on that video, we are talking about just the past Friday. Yes, that was when this tragic incident happened. And the guy that we are talking about, leading Siman Akila A, he was the one that perpetrated this act. Whether it was as a result of frustration or whatever it is, anger or whatever it is, we are yet to find out. But the, the major general, the general that reported or confirmed the incident is General General Edward Buba. He is the director of defense in charge of media operations. Yes, he is the one that confirmed the incident that yes, something like that happened. And this whole thing happened. You know, when it comes to Nigeria, a lot of or many operations are going on all over the country, though they are not all that much. I'm talking about the soldiers. They have operations all over the place. And this very one happened in a naval base or in something that has to do with the Navy, yes. So a naval officer was the one that committed this bad and barbaric act. The name of the deceased or the one that tragically died is not yet known to us because, you know, they have to, as the, the, the format or as the formality allows, they have to contact the family before they come out with the name to the public. That is why the name is not yet out there. And we have to respect that because that is how it is done. They have to inform the family first. The family has to be in the know before any other person has to be informed. So we are on the lookout for the name. But what is happening? This is not the first time that this whole thing is happening. You can say that, yes, it's happened once in a while, but this is not the first time. And once it's not the first time, what is going on when it comes to the military service of Nigeria? Yes, some of the guys, whatever they are saying on social media, recently a lady have been fired out of the military as a result of one misconduct or the other, and even some other ones have been misbehaving all over, all over the place, some facing court martial here and there. Why? Because it can be seen, but all that they have been saying themselves, yes, they are saying it, we are not the ones saying it, and they are all allegations that they have not been paid well. That means these guys are not stable, are they? Yes, that is why some of these things happen. It'd be one of the causes of things like that. I'm not saying that is the cause of this exact one. This one, we are leaving it out for the investigation to confirm. But these are the things that I'm trying to enumerate. They are some of the things that necessitate or cause things like this because if the person is not fed well if the person have a marital problem if the person is having a family problem the person will restrain or the person will just release bullet just like that yes why because the mind is not stable and these are the guys that are handling guns and they are not just uh, handling guns uh, ak-47 or things some of them have been handed very heavy weapons we are talking about g3 and above yes those are the guns that these guys are holding meanwhile they are not stable have they but the sad aspect is they may not have enough personnel that to ascertain that this guy is fit to hold gun or this guy is not fit. All over the place, not only in Nigeria, you can talk about all the countries in Africa and all over the world. Yes, you know, things like this happen. This one may be as a result of discharge or as a result of anger, but since there, there was some level of misunderstanding and this sad thing or tragic thing happened. But it's so sad that these young guys have to die as a result of the gun that they are supposed to use to protect their people in a country called Nigeria. As I said, this happened in Kachina State in Nigeria and it's a never base that this whole thing happened. Yeah, we only hope and pray that things will be done very well, the proper investigation will be done so that at the end, this sad guy or this guy that lost his life will be able to get justice. I only have sympathy for the family because it's not easy. You put your son out there or your daughter out there to work for you and make money and take care of himself and by extension yourself, I'm talking about the parents or the family, and at the end, something like this have to happen and they have to return home in a casket. It's a very sad situation, but it has happened that we can only report on it and call on the military, the head of the military. I'm talking about the military service, this one in particular. We are talking about the naval officers. They have to take good care of themselves and be very safe out there. If you hold the gun and you know that you cannot use the gun, well, please just drop it or submit it and go and step down and tell your superior that permission to fall out or permission to be dismissed. Then now you go out. Yes. But now that this guy has committed this, we are talking about leading Siman Akila A. That's the name. Yes. You shall face court martial. That is it. Irrespective of what. Whether you did it unknowingly or knowingly, you definitely face court martial. Court martial. This one, he killed someone, but I know the investigations are still underway, so I will not prejudge anything. We are leaving that to the investigators to do. As the Major General Edward Buba told all of us that we have to report the circumspect, we will do exactly that. But things like this shouldn't be happening because the military is supposed to protect the people, not to be killing each other or one 
another as a result of maybe someone's girlfriend or some girlfriend or some issues here and there or some misunderstandings, little misunderstanding. But as I said already, psychologically, most of them are not stable out there when it comes to their finances. Yes, it's all over the place and things are happening, economic hardships here and there. And they always report in the social media that they've not been paid or they have not been, they are not be paying them well. It's only the superiors that enjoy. Well, we don't know about that. That is what the boys are saying. The boys on the ground, that's what they are saying. Maybe the government will put measures in place to be able to get that done. But all things are difficult everywhere. But we only wish and pray that this guy that was sadly gunned down by his own colleague will be buried safely and also justice will be served. Please, for more about discussions and analysis like this, kindly subscribe to this channel. One forum is for the best when it comes to security and crime, for the best when it comes to politics of Africa and historical antecedents. We'll be right here to present the best for you. It shouldn't always be the bad news, but we present good news also. Please, kindly subscribe to this channel. One forum news. Thank you so much and always be in touch. Thank you.